Well, Tony Khan's latest big announcement for AEW came this past week. And as you can probably see, his announcements aren't a draw anymore because he has these announcements every few weeks. And it's getting to the point that nobody cares because he can't top himself. But even worse is that his announcement, I think, puts AEW in a far worse position. That is where we're at with Tony Khan and his lack of vision, I think, is really the problem. So AEW and New Japan Pro Wrestling will be having a show, the blah, 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 the Forbidden Door, like it's something amazing here in June. But I think the, the biggest problem with this is that AEW already has a hard enough time fitting in their bloated roster in their three hours of TV time a week. And that it clearly they can't find focus for their own wrestlers that they now have to not only juggle the ROH side of things, as we've seen over the past few weeks, that ROH has been getting TV time on AEW to try and make us care about the ROH titles when we already have a hard enough caring about the AEW's own titles, that now he's bringing in New Japan Pro Wrestling for a few months, assuming that they have to build that on TV as well, as we've already seen. So how exactly is there going to be focus on these shows to get themselves over? AEW is way too new to be trying to have these deals with all these other wrestling companies. I mean, I guess maybe it helps them, but not really, because in the end, AEW hurt all these other smaller wrestling companies. And New Japan's not small, but it's small in the US. But I don't know what this really does for anyone involved, because as we've seen in the past from AEW's booking, when AEW is involved, Tony Khan's gonna book AEW wrestlers over the wrestlers from these other companies in the first place. So, like, is New Japan just going to be slaughtered at this upcoming pay-per-view to put AEW over? That doesn't help New Japan in America whatsoever, but it's also not helping AEW because nobody will give a shit about this except for the people that are already hardcore AEW and New Japan fans. This does nothing to grow AEW. I think it has an opposite effect, and it could very well hurt the upcoming TV ratings for AEW. Because there will be even more lack of focus going forward. And this comes at a bad timing because we just had, uh, you know, a merger between Time Warner, AT&T, and Discovery. Because, you know, these media, conglom conglom blah, these media conglomerates just continue to get even uh, bigger and bigger to, to win the streaming war, I guess. But... They announced that they want to cut billions of dollars from this new, this new merger. And AEW is a part of that new merger because they are on TNT and TBS, which are now owned by this merger between Discovery and Warner. Now, I don't think this situation is similar to WCW when the first time Warner merger happened back in the early 2000s and they didn't want wrestling on TBS and TNT anymore and they just ended WCW. They got bought out by WWE and whatnot. I don't think that's going to completely happen. I would like to think that AEW has a good enough demo that it, you know, it can compete with some of the sports like hockey and college basketball. It can't compete really with the NBA or MLB, or, um, of course, NFL, obviously. But I still think it competes with real sports, so I don't know if AEW is like an imminent danger to be completely taken off of TNT and TBS. But it has been a while since the person that uh, brought AEW to TNT in the first place no longer is in charge there. And now we're getting just new head honchos on top that I think AEW needs to find itself, I think, at this point. You know, I guess some will say that what AEW is is um, just a wrestling company for the hardcore fans. Well, that's all good and well, but I don't know if that's going to continue to make money. I don't know if TNT and TBS and Warner actually put money into AEW, if they're involved at that, that the, the big contracts for some of the big stars in AEW. I kind of doubt it. I mean, maybe that is just all 
done by Tony Khan. He is the son of a billionaire. And he gets all that money from his daddy to start this company in the first place. But, you know, I still think there should be some kind of focus. I don't understand what Tony Khan is doing whatsoever. I feel like... I mean, I've always felt like this was just a, a vanity project for Tony Khan in the first place. He gets to play wrestler. Uh, he gets to be loved by the fans for bringing in their favorite wrestlers to this company. But he has no real vision, I don't think. I think he books for Tony Khan. Tony Khan, over the past year especially, you know, he started this company with VPs like the Bucks and Cody Rhodes, who's now back in WWE, and Kenny Omega. And slowly but surely, Tony Khan took control away from them and now just does all of the creative his own self. He wants to make every single decision. He thinks he knows best because he fucking read Dave Dumbass Meltzer for years and years and years. That somehow Tony Khan thinks he knows best, but he doesn't. So yeah, I just think we're going to have even less focus on actual AEW now that he has to put ROH and New Japan on AEW TV shows to get both of those companies over or to get this upcoming pay-per-view with New Japan over while getting his acquisition of ROH over because ROH doesn't have any TV time of its own. It's a mess. It is a big mess with no focus. So I don't know where AEW goes from here, but I think it's going to be a long, bad summer for AEW. Hopefully Tony Khan can get his head out of his ass and maybe turn shit around. But I'm not seeing any hope for that because he he does way too much. He just wants this really bloated roster and now he wants to have the ROA's name but he also wants to bring in people from New Japan. Like what are we doing here? I don't understand. So I just think that AEW and Tony Khan needs to hope that um, whatever the billions of dollars that will be cut from this merger doesn't involve AEW. And I don't think it necessarily will, but I do think it's going to put AEW on even more of a hot seat to continue to better itself rather than regress itself, which it always seems to do. Anytime AEW catches some kind of momentum in the ratings, you then slowly see a regression in the ratings because I don't, Tony Khan either relies on this one-trick pony, which is having announcements every week that are getting old and not popping a rating anymore, or he uh, he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. I'm convinced he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. He just wants the adoration of the fans because he brings in their favorite wrestlers to his company. But uh, it's it's just not working right now. And I think we got a mess coming up with the TV shows for AEW because New Japan in AEW is not going to pop a rating in America. They've struggled to catch on in America as it is. So this only is going to have the fans that they already have. And for some reason, Tony Khan just can't understand that he has a cult-like audience who will love whatever the fuck he does. So why doesn't he actually try and grow his audience instead of always placating to the fans that are going to watch and praise AEW regardless of fucking anything?